Hi everybody, I'm Mike, and this is the Daily Challenge for January 11th, 2014. And we are gonna grab our little Splunking Man. He's going to work his way down the rope. Oh, that was dumb. I, I needed that skull. I, re I really did. Right. will do. Sorry, my little rodent friend, but you had a greater purpose. Um, let me grab that. If we go down here, we can be okay. I think so. Um. Yeah, yeah, parachute. So hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I am okay. Um, I... I haven't done too, too much today. Uh, that was nice. Um, talked to my buddy Onimus69. Um, I hadn't talked to him for a while, because we had both been busy for various reasons, but uh, got the opportunity to talk to, to him uh, for an extended period of time, for the first time in a couple of weeks, and um, shot the breeze with him, beat FTL for the first time, which was pretty awesome, I must say. After several attempts trying to beat that confounded game. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, apart from that, I just kind of mess around with some indie games that I hadn't ever tried before. In an attempt to, uh, you know, familiarize myself with s some games that I... I had in my collection, but hadn't necessarily played. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. We'll come grab you. Um, yeah, there's nothing here that I need. Um, I played a little bit of 3089, which I had a copy from from Something. I can't remember what, but uh, I saw that it had just come out on Steam and I, th I was like, hey, hey, I th <sighs> hey, I think I have a copy of that kicking around somewhere, so I tried it out. I have no idea what's going on in that game. Like, none. Um, so I, I guess I'm going to play around with that a little bit more. Um... too much going on. Play, played some Spelunky earlier. That was fun. But it was really, really, really boring. Well, not boring. It was just quiet. I didn't record anything other than this today, although I, I'm probably going to go and do some things tomorrow. See how the day plays out, but that's probably going to be on the docket. Because I, I feel, I feel like playing the video games. Um, I got invited to, well, not like specifically invited, but I, I have a, a beta key to the uh, Elder Scrolls Online, and they're having like one of the beta testing weekends this weekend, so. Look into that a little bit this weekend. Uh, a bunch of my friends got invites, so um, that might be something that we might all do together. Um. 
apart from that, I just kind of feel like laying low and playing some games this weekend. Um, I haven't... Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You know what I can do, though? I can sacrifice you and get some favor out of you, at least. Um... Yeah, I don't know, I just kind of feel like I'm dripping around and playing some video games. And, uh... Staying quiet and staying on the devil. I'm kind of... kind of tired and it's cold and... Or it has been cold. It's not nearly as cold as it has been, which is kind of nice. And, uh... I don't know, I just kind of feel like maybe getting some work done, maybe playing some new games. Stuff like that, and Jack House 2 is on TV, I think? I don't know, it's the one where Steve-O shoots firecracker, bottle rockets out of his rear end. And that's what's, I think, happening right now. High quality TV. I shouldn't say anything, I mean, I watched Jackass for years, but, um... I was, I was a younger man back then. Hmm. Okay, well I want to get to this damsel. So we're gonna that up. I'm getting this stuff. Boop. Um. Yeah, I've also been thinking about the prospect of. of you know, streaming and stuff like that. I'm not likely to stream. where I am now. Uh, because the arrangement with the internet and stuff like that, uh, the way that I currently have it, is essentially doesn't make it so I would be able to have good enough internet to stream. So, that is not something that is in my immediate future, but something that could happen like six months down the road and if that if and when that is a thing um, I will be a happy man because I think that streaming would be fun there we go pretty getting close-ish to getting a Kapala because we have sacrificed a, uh, a deceased Doug the Pug. Here we go! And, oh! Already off to the jungle. So I guess I don't have any... Over the past... Earlier this week I kind of had like... Stuff specifically that I wanted to talk about, but... Not so much today! Go away. Oh, yes, finally. Thank goodness. Um, oh, that was dumb. I could sacrifice you. I didn't see the altar until I was just placing him inside the door. Oh, well. Um, that's unfortunate. Let's go look for... Oh, the store's right there. I want to go check that out and buy some little shopkeeper's wares. 
a spawn bag and a spawn bag, and let's play the mystery box. It's a freeze ray. That's disappointing. <laughs> um, is there an ash grave that we can go and bomb? Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the ash grave is a grave. Ah, here it is. Where if you bomb. Um, oh man. Um, underneath it, you get access to the gun. Um, figures. There we go. Uh, the reason I did that all screwed up like that is because I wanted to get access to the shotgun without blowing up the uh, altar. Because I don't want to ruin my favorite color. Um, should I go in here? Yeah, you know, let's... I don't see any blips to my, uh... to the black market. Vampire, and stomp on you, Miss Zhongxi. Bong, bong. Um, space shoes would be nice. If I'm honest. Um. stuff going on here. Okay, you can go away. You can actually go away as well. I want to shoot you. Okay, so this is clear. I could just technically just leave. Screw you, Zhongxi. Sacrifice you now. It's gotta be close ish to getting the pollen, probably like you know, three or four feet away. Well. Oh. I didn't expect that to be. <laughs> I didn't expect to be flying up that ladder. In all honesty. Um. Okay. I don't think that this guy will be enough. Uh, because I think in total you need uh, 32 favor with Kali. And I don't think we're quite to that point yet. Oh, but we will be if we sacrifice some Douglas here. No. Black Knight's jangling around up there. Okay, now we've got the Kala. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, the Kala allows you to get the droplets of blood that's everybody... Um, like all the enemies spewing um, when you kill them and um, if you catch them and, and whatnot you uh, catch them in the Kapala and when the, that Kapala is full you get a point of health. It's really super handy. Uh, hey buddy. Fly. Fly as if your life depended on it because it kind of does. There we go. Oh. I didn't even realize that this was a rushing water level. I'll do your bubble thing. I'll then 
shoot you, get some of your blood, and then continue on my merry way. Um... Did you just throw a torch at me? I didn't realize that's what you did in Dark Levels. Well, that's a jerk move. You jerk. Alright. Um... Blue Frog OP. Okay. That was a crappy way to start off level. Minute. I think we already had it, but, uh, I know this is back to playing Airport Simulator 2014. Shoot you. Um, here is something that you can do when you have a pause. You can go and grab the dog and whip him. again for all that delicious wonderful juicy blood and then at that point what you could do is bring him to the exit and save him uh, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to deal with that micro to be honest with you. Um, so I didn't... wow it is super expensive to buy bugs I don't have a lot of money. We complete me complete me. We completely missed the black market, which is really unfortunate. Hmm. Oh well. I guess it's us off to the ice caves and I mean at best an Olmec run. I mean, Olmec runs aren't bad, um, I've just never had a Yama slash Hell run, so... I don't like to do that. Okay, well, we've got, we're dealing with suicidal extraterrestrials and... all to itself. Get all that blood. And again, I don't really want to micro our friend Douglas here, so I'm doing that. Grab that. Now we have better control on the ice because we have spike boots. Uh, also, I mean, we kill stuff that we stomp on uh, much more quickly. With them spike boots. And there's some stuff that you can't kill without spike boots um, if you stomp on it, actually. Like, um... Mammoths, I'm trying to think of stuff. Um, is mummies one of them? I don't know. I usually have spike boots by the time I get to the, uh, the temple. Oh. Um, at this point, if I see an altar, um, I'm going to do something that I wasn't going to try to do before and get invigorated. Um... Bro. 
sorry to ruin all of your fun. Um, I suppose I can get in here. I saw Bananasaurus Rex do something today in one of his speedruns on YouTube um, that I didn't know you could do. He teleported inside the Moai. Uh, I didn't know you could do that. So when I saw that, um, I was amazed and, well, mostly confused. But, I mean, a lot of stuff that Bananasaurus Rex does amazes me. I guess we'll just... Again, I'm not really here for, for score, although this is a really terrible bad score. Oh! Hey now, I wasn't paying attention at all. And I almost got fragged by Mr. UFO alien guy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Doug here. And I'm gonna screw that up, but I ended up getting enough blood too. Um, there we go. Where are you? I'm under the impression there might be an altar here for whatever reason. Get all of its blood. Hmm. No, Puffin! No, Puffin! Look at you go, you're so cute! Alright. <laughs> Get out of this level. <laughs> Sorry, puff it on the, puff it on the jump pads is, is something adorable in my opinion. Uh, could go to the mothership. Not gonna go to the mothership. Again, I'm not I'm not here for score runs. I'm here to beat old Nick. Um, at this well, I'm here to beat Yama at this point. Uh, I guess the side effect of that is, since I'm not beating Yama this particular time, I am going to go try to beat Olmec. Um, whoa. Don't want to get thrown by that guy. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That was really close. Like, closer than it probably should have been. Um... Yeah, I figured as much. I probably shouldn't have done that, because now I'll have to deal with shopkeepers, but I'm going to switch the product. Because it's not usually the shopkeepers that kill me at this point anyway. They're kind of a minor annoyance. Yeah, I'll pay for my cards. That alone. Oh, hey. Okay. Well, that was fun. Kind of messed up. I 
wonder how I missed him. That's kind of weird. Alright, well, we're gonna go over here. So this is the key to, well, the lock to the entrance of the city of the world, I suppose. Uh, the, there are two parts to the key uh, for the city of gold, uh, being the, uh, the scepter, which you get from, uh, oh my god, what's his name? I can't remember his bloody name. Yeah, I can't remember his name. But that guy I just defeated in the last- What? Okay, I actually got through that a lot more easily than I thought I would have. Sorry I got real quiet there, it's just I like, wasn't sure how I was going to handle that, and apparently that way I was going to handle that. Um... Was easy. <laughs> all right, so we've got Olmec. We need these. That's awesome. That parachute. Man. Uh, I already have them, so whatever. I don't really care too too much. The climb gloves. That is. You know what, that probably wasn't the best use of that bomb, if I'm completely honest. But, we only really need six to... Get what we need done done, right? to also pick, like, the place where I would have had to bomb to go to hell, too.
All right, dude. have to come back here it is kind of a pain in the behind I'm get me a big jerk I hate you, you big jerk. Right. You know what? I didn't mean to do that. I actually just kind of meant to put that, that shotgun down, but I guess that's the thing. Thank you. Thank you! Holy smokes, that took forever. I can't get any of this other stuff anymore. It's a matter box. Um, but, but, ropes! Ropes! Ropes of celebration. Alright. This is gonna be a crappy score. But we beat Olmec again. It seems that the only time I can ever beat Olmec is when I am doing the daily challenge and recording it. So I, put, I, I suppose it's good for my channel, but <laughs> not so great for my self-esteem. <laughs> I made it! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't even crack 250,000. I will be remembered as a hero. I am sure. Well, guys, um, I guess that does it for this run. Um, if you like this episode and you um, if you like this episode and sorry, I was just ooh, Insomniac did really really well, but he always does really really well. If you like this episode and you, oh, Snowman did really well too. I just found his YouTube channel. If you like this episode and you, um, or you just want to support the series, feel free to go ahead and um, click that uh, like button near the bottom of the page. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, if you can 
that that's something that you might want to do. That button is down there as well. Um, if you have any positive or negative feedback, or you just want to, um, you know, post your score either to chart it alongside of mine or to show off that you're a better Splunky player than I am, feel free to do that as well. Um, you can put all that stuff in the um, comment section down below. If you want to join me on Facebook or on Steam, you can do that by clicking on one of the links in the description down below. Uh, but I have been Mike, you have been you, and this has been the Spelunky Daily Challenge for the 11th of January, 2014. And... I just want to see... If I have dropped still. Yep, already I have. We're already down to 137. Alright, well, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll.